Into the wild, frigid waters hide nature's slick assassin, the leopard seal. This Antarctic predator defies expectations with its curved form and skull that appears to have been plucked from the depths of mythology. But beware, behind those deceptively innocuous eyes lurks a powerful natural energy. These wild beings have an unexpected aggressiveness, capable of fast and savage attacks. The leopard seal is a dangerous creature that epitomizes the untamed essence of the freezing tundra. Welcome to the Untamed, where we reveal three stories of Antarctica scientists who try to pet this leopard seal and instantly regret it. Dr. Alaric Thorne, a seasoned marine scientist, embarked on an incredible journey that would permanently leave his name in the annals of scientific exploration in the vast and lonely expanse of Antarctica, where the biting winds sliced through the air like a thousand icy blades. It was the year 1942, a time when the boundaries of knowledge were constantly being stretched, and Dr. Thorne, driven by a burning curiosity, set out to understand the wonders surrounding the wondrous leopard seal. Dr. Thorne's wood cottage stood alone in the frigid woods as a sentinel against the brutal elements. The flickering light of a weakly lit bulb produced spooky shadows on the walls, creating an atmosphere that echoed the wonder of the frosty terrain outside. Dr. Thorne toiled relentlessly inside this scientific cocoon, driven by an avid desire to discover the species beneath the Antarctic ice. Dr. Thorne's thirst for knowledge led him to an unusual project, studying the leopard seal. This apex predator traversed the frigid waters with a grace that belied its ferocious reputation. He built a small pond next to his cottage, creating a controlled setting in which he could examine the creature's activity up close. The wood hut set against the icy landscape served as both a haven and a laboratory for the scientist. As the Antarctic winter tightened its grasp, Dr. Thorne's efforts paid off when he successfully trapped a leopard seal and named it Isolde. Its slim, speckled shape flowed through the water like a ghost, leaving a brief trail of ripples that echoed the freezing abyss's unfathomable fascination. Isolde, a wild creature, became the focus of Dr. Thorne's research, a wonder that intrigued and bewildered the scientist. Months passed and the link between man and seal grew stronger. With apparent discernment, Isolde accepted fish from Dr. Thorne's gloved hands, a gesture that went beyond the ordinary predator-prey dynamic. Once a sterile container for scientific observation, the cold pond transformed into a furnace of comprehension, erasing the lines between the scientific observer and the observed. Dr. Thorne's encounters with Isolde took on a supernatural air as the Antarctic environment was enveloped in constant darkness. Captivated by the creature's beauty and the apparent connection, the scientists began to believe in a type of communication that went beyond the limitations of language. For its part, Isolde reacted to Dr. Thorne's presence with a familiarity that defied wild animal instincts. However, as the adage goes, familiarity breeds contempt. The beautiful pond, which formerly symbolized their peaceful coexistence, would soon become a war for survival. Dr. Thorne extended his hand towards Isolde in an attempt to pet her in a moment of misplaced trust. The peaceful waters burst into mayhem instantly as Isolde's enormous jaws clamped down on the scientist's palm with a force that belied her ostensibly friendly disposition. Dr. Thorne's body screamed in agony as he felt the crushing pressure of Isolde's teeth. He battled against the constant pull, desperate to extricate himself, but the leopard seal's grip remained firm. As Dr. Thorne's frantic shouts resonated through the chilly calm, the tranquil pond, witness to countless minutes of observation, became a storm of despair. A howling wind swept the echoes of anguish across the bleak countryside outside the cottage. Dr. Thorne had no idea that his wife, the faithful Dr. Serafina Thorne, had heard his screams for aid. She went to the scene, her pulse hammering with a mixture of terror and determination, as a fellow scientist and life and research partner. The scenario unfolded like a nightmare as Dr. Serafina approached the cold pond. Isolde, a creature of breathtaking beauty, now had a firm grip on her husband. Dr. Serafina grasped for the radio with shaky hands, anxiously requesting assistance from the marine authorities. The crackling radio waves carried her urgent calls into the frigid tundra, launching a rescue mission that would put human and animal toughness to the strain. Captain Magnus Falkirk, a seasoned head of Antarctic Marine Authority, received the emergency call in a remote outpost. He mustered his troops for an adventure into the heart of the frigid unknown. 
his weathered visage carved by years of battling the elements. The race against the clock had begun. Dr. Thorne's quest for survival reached a critical crossroads as Captain Falkirk and his squad navigated the hazardous terrain, battling blizzards and crossing treacherous ice fields. Isolde refused to let go, caught between instinct and a curious connection with the scientist. The marine authorities faced the daunting challenge of separating man from beast, the austere Antarctic terrain, a kaleidoscope of stark beauty and deadly difficulties, stood by to observe the unfolding drama. Dr. Thorne, caught between life and death, peered into the depths of Isolde's eyes. The marine authorities arrived at the secluded cabin just as the conflict climaxed, directed by Captain Falkirk's steadfast tenacity. The confrontation between man and environment was so intense that it rang throughout the frigid wilderness. Captain Falkirk and his team used specialist tools for such occasions to carefully remove Isolde from Dr. Thorne's injured fingers. The battle against the elements mirrored Isolde's psychological conflict. Her unwillingness to abandon Dr. Thorne and an unexplainable attachment provided a difficulty beyond standard animal rescue measures. The maritime authorities, who had spent years dealing with the wild, struggled with the uncontrolled force that stood before them. Captain Falkirk and his staff worked together to break Isolde's grip, releasing Dr. Thorne from imminent doom. The bloodied and wounded scientist was dragged from the freezing waters. His body bore testament to the brutality of the battle. Isolde, who had been reluctantly returned to the Antarctic depths, vanished beneath the surface with a tremendous flick of her tail. Marine officials focused on Dr. Thorne's injuries as the adrenaline-fueled mayhem calmed. The scientist, glad for a second chance at life, was airlifted to a makeshift medical center, where the severity of his injuries became apparent. Isolde's powerful jaws had left an unmistakable impression on his hand, a monument to the combustible junction of scientific inquiry and wild might. Captain Falkirk and his squad followed the rescue and gave Dr. Thorne tough advice. They underlined that the Antarctic wilderness was a region where natural rules ruled and that attempting to bridge the gap between man and untamed species required caution. The custodians of the ice boundary, the marine authorities, issued a grave warning to scientists and researchers, encouraging them to seek direction and follow established norms. The scientists' rehabilitation became lengthy as the marine authorities left the Thorne cabin alone against the backdrop of the icy countryside. Months passed, each day characterized by the gradual healing of physical scars and the contemplation that comes with a brush with death. Dr. Thorne, once driven by an insatiable thirst for knowledge, now bore the wounds of an encounter that went beyond the scope of scientific research. The incident of Dr. Alaric Thorne and the leopard seal became a cautionary tale among scientists, indelibly carved in the ice-laden history of Antarctica. Once a shelter for exploration, the wood hut was a tribute to the delicate dance between man and environment, remained a reminder of the untamed, unfathomable depths lurking beneath the frozen surface. Following the tragedy, the Thorn team, united by a shared desire to unravel the mysteries of Antarctica, returned to their research with tremendous respect for the region's unexpected powers. The once symbiotic bond between man and seal has been dissolved, replaced by mutual respect for the cold wildness borders. The case of Dr. Alaric Thorne and the leopard seal pervaded scientific discourse over time, acting as a warning tale for anyone who ventured to venture into the chilly hallways of knowledge. Antarctica's untamed, merciless wildness is a testament to the boundaries of human comprehension, reminding explorers and scholars that, while honorable, the pursuit of knowledge must be balanced by an everlasting respect for the untamed forces that form the ice world. Dr. Thaddeus Harrington, a seasoned marine biologist, embarked on an expedition in the remote reaches of Antarctica. The icy expanse seemed to stretch endlessly, creating an atmosphere of awe and wonder. As he ventured into this frozen landscape, Dr. Harrington knew that he was about to make his mark on the Southern Ocean, leaving a lasting legacy on the pristine canvas of this desolate region. In 1985, a research outpost called Frostbound Haven stood stoically against the biting winds. It served as a bastion of scientific curiosity, nestled on the fringes of the Weddell Sea. Frostbound Haven, which stood as a testament to the unwavering perseverance of humans against the unforgiving elements of the Antarctic, served as the backdrop for Dr. Harrington's unyielding quest for knowledge. Towering ice shelves and glaciers surrounded the outpost, and it bore witness to the clash between human ambition and the untamed forces that governed the polar wilderness. As the incident unfolded, the scientist had delved into the storied history of Frostbound Haven. In this hub of exploration, intrepid scientists had braved the harsh conditions to unravel the wondrous species hidden beneath the icy depths. The landscape appeared lonely, as if time had left it untouched, but concealed hidden dangers beneath its surface. These dangers awaited, ready to challenge the bold endeavors of anyone who dared to seek understanding in the heart of Antarctica. Dr. Thaddeus Harrington, 
a luminary in the field of marine biology, had been standing at the forefront of this scientific odyssey. He was driven to the brink of the Southern Ocean in pursuit of the elusive leopard seal, a creature that embodied the enigma of Antarctica's marine life by his unwavering ambition and insatiable curiosity. Dr. Isabella Sterling stood alongside him, countering Thaddeus's unbridled enthusiasm with her cautious approach. The duo embarked on a journey that challenged their understanding of the wild. Captain Magnus Frost, a weathered mariner with a lifetime of experience skillfully navigating treacherous waters, assumed command of the esteemed research vessel Endeavor Endeavor. He symbolized the symbiosis between human expertise and the formidable forces of nature, an alliance crucial for survival in the frozen expanses of Antarctica. Lysander, a local guide whose connection with the land seemed to border on the supernatural, guided them through the wonders of the Antarctic. He had weathered features and deep-set eyes that held tales of several encounters with the wild. These features served as a living testament to the unfathomable depths of the Southern Ocean that he had experienced in the past. Dr. Harrington's sincere desire to unravel the wonders of the leopard seal lay at the heart of the narrative. He extended his vision beyond scientific inquiry as he endeavored to establish a profound connection with these elusive creatures. He firmly believed that comprehending their behavior necessitated more than mere detached observation. However, the conflict arose when Thaddeus, consumed by his unyielding pursuit, attempted to interact with a particularly wondrous specimen, which he named Selene. The pivotal moment unfolded against the backdrop of the unforgiving Antarctic wilderness. It was marked by an ill-fated attempt to pet the leopard seal while scientists extracted crucial blood samples. The leopard seal fiercely protected its autonomy and reacted with primal instinct, resulting in Dr. Harrington being gravely wounded and questioning the boundaries of human-animal interaction in the unbridled wild. As the incident unfolded, the story delved into the aftermath of Thaddeus's daring endeavor. The team quickly transports the wounded scientist back to Frostbound Haven as they rush to tend to the physical injuries that mirror the emotional scars inflicted upon him by the untamed creature he had been striving to comprehend. The atmosphere within the research outpost was charged with an ominous aura as the consequences of Thaddeus's actions reverberated through the frigid corridors. Selene, the leopard seal, was serving as a silent specter, a creature whose escape into the icy embrace of the Southern Ocean had become a metaphor for the untamable wild. This force defied the constraints of human understanding. The vivid descriptions painted a stark picture of the harsh Antarctic landscape, where the line between scientific exploration and the unyielding forces of nature was blurred. Dr. Harrington's introspection became a focal point, as it revealed the hubris that had led him to believe he could forge a bond with a creature that had been molded by millennia of survival in the harshest environments. Selene's escape had become a haunting reminder that highlighted the inherent limitations of human understanding within the heart of Antarctica's vast icy landscape. The narrative was weaving through the lives of Dr. Isabella Sterling and Captain Magnus Frost as they grappled with the consequences of a scientific pursuit that had breached the delicate balance between humanity and the wild. In the end, Frostbound Haven remained a silent witness bearing testament to the intricate nature of scientific exploration. This noble pursuit required individuals to exhibit humility when confronted with the untamed forces that molded the world's most distant and unspoiled regions. The incident ended with a sad reflection on the delicate dance between human ambition and the relentless wonders that persisted in the icy Southern Ocean's icy heart, echoing through Antarctica's frozen corridors as a cautionary tale. In the vast expanse of Antarctica, the piercing winds whispered wonders of ancient ice as Dr. Octavia Frost stood at the forefront of scientific exploration. She had a weathered face, etched with lines of unwavering determination, that told the tale of countless icy nights and a relentless pursuit of knowledge. Her quest for understanding took an unexpected and treacherous turn in this desolate landscape. In 1962, the frozen continent held its beauties close as the frosty embrace of polar solitude guarded it. Dr. Octavia Frost, a renowned marine biologist with an unwavering passion for the vast wonders of the deep sea, fearlessly undertook a daring expedition to unravel the perplexing mysteries concealed within the icy depths of the Antarctic waters. She armed herself with her scientific understanding and a tranquilizer gun, and she ventured into the heart of the frozen wilderness. Her mission was to search for the elusive and enigmatic leopard seal, Dr. Frost embarked on a daring endeavor at McMurdo Station, 
which served as a bustling hub of human activity amidst the vast frozen expanse. She was clad in layers of insulated clothing as she trudged through the powdery snow with her breath visible in the crisp air. As the haunting melody of her footsteps echoed throughout the frozen realm, emphasizing the profound isolation that surrounded her, a leopard seal was reclining near the edge of the frozen ocean. She carefully aimed her tranquilizer gun and captured the creature, causing it to fall into a gentle slumber. Its sleek form was cradled in the arms of scientific curiosity. As she made her way back to her dwelling, the rhythmic hum of the research vehicle filled the air as a constant reminder of the journey she had just embarked upon. The cargo hold securely held the sedated leopard seal, ensuring its safety throughout the trip. The creature's breath was creating a visible mist that lingered against the transparent walls of its temporary prison, infusing the dimly lit interior with an ethereal quality. Dr. Frost arrived at her modest Antarctic abode and transformed her living space into a makeshift research facility. The tank was transformed into a confined sanctuary as it held the leopard seal within its apparent confines. Dr. Frost observed the creature with a sense of awe and excitement that permeated the air. The creature's fur, spotted and glistening like moonlight on the icy surface, captivated Dr. Frost's attention. Days transformed into nights. Once a wild creature, the leopard seal had adapted to its captive surroundings. Its eyes reflected an odd combination of curiosity and resignation as it adjusted to its new environment. Driven by an avid thirst for knowledge, Dr. Frost meticulously documented the creature's behavior. He fed it and unraveled the mysteries that lay beneath its spotted exterior. However, as the sun lay below the frozen horizon, it cast an otherworldly glow upon the icy landscape and the tranquil atmosphere within the enclosure transformed into a foreboding one. Dr. Frost, who had grown accustomed to the eerie silence of the Antarctic night, made his way toward the enclosure, feeling a mixture of anticipation and caution. In a surreal instant, the leopard seal's eyes transformed dramatically, changing from harboring a docile gaze to becoming orbs of primal ferocity. Without warning, the creature suddenly lunged at Dr. Frost with an astonishing speed that startled him. It unleashed a predatory force that seemed to have been released within the confines of its artificial habitat. The scientist felt panic as she grappled with the realization that her scientific fascination had transformed into a dangerous and life-threatening encounter. The desperate struggle was unfolding against the backdrop of the Antarctic night. It was a silent ballet of survival in the frigid darkness. The predator within the enclosure clashed with the scientist. Labored breaths were heard, echoing through the crisp air, creating a symphony of chaos in the frozen wilderness. Muffled cries for help added to the din, reverberating through the stillness of the surroundings. The distant commotion drew the attention of a neighbor named Richard Everest, known for his stalwart courage. He quickly rushed to the scene, eager to investigate what was happening. He witnessed the unfolding of a chaotic tableau as he grappled with the stark reality of a leopard seal. This creature had originated from the depths of the Antarctic but had now become a formidable threat in the very heart of human habitation. Fueled by sheer determination, Richard pried the leopard seal away from its intended prey, redirecting the icy jaws of danger. As he was tending to Dr. Frost's wounds, he painfully realized the severity of the attack. The pristine snow was stained by blood, creating a vivid tableau that depicted the clash between human curiosity and untamed nature. The enclosure, which had once served as a space for scientific inquiry, Dr. Frost's passion for understanding the leopard seal had unknowingly brought the untamed wilderness into the safe confines of her own home. Richard, who was always known for being a stalwart neighbor, took it upon himself to assist in stabilizing the wounded scientist. With a sense of urgency and compassion, he skillfully used his hands to perform the necessary actions. Dr. Frost and Richard, working together, made the arduous decision to return the leopard seal to the unforgiving embrace of the Antarctic waters. The creature, held captive by human curiosity, was eventually set free and returned to the frigid depths, where it vanished beneath the icy waves. The artificial enclosure and the boundless wilderness contrasted, a stark reminder of the untamed forces that lay beyond the boundaries of human understanding. The days that followed were characterized by a slow process of physical and emotional recovery taking place. Confined to her research lab, Dr. Frost revisited the events that had unfolded within the confines of her Antarctic dwelling. She reflected on the series of occurrences that had taken place, her mind delving into the depths of the memories that were etched in her consciousness. 
Dr. Frost's voice narrated the profound lessons learned from this chilling ordeal. It was a harrowing journey pondering the boundaries humanity dared to breach in pursuing knowledge. They were left to contemplate the unpredictable consequences lurking in the untamed shadows. The incident was a cautionary tale that was etched in the icy annals of scientific exploration. It served as a reminder of the dangers encountered and the lessons learned during the expedition. It was a testament to the clash between human curiosity and the primal forces of nature, and they were left with a haunting reminder. 